Hope you're all still awake. Late Night Mega here, and, well, this is my favorite dungeon of the game that we can't go into yet. So let's, uh, let's go activate the switch in the light world after I try to get some hearts. One thing I like about the mirror is that it places a convenient teleporter right on top of a blue guard that takes us back to the dark world. It's only a one-shot teleport so that mirror thing won't uh, be there next time. But uh, it does have its uses and it's convenient. Uh, so I'm really glad that they designed the mirror to work that way. How did I not get hit through all of that? Oh, that's a bomb. I don't need that. Those guys with the uh, that throw the spears, I find that they have a higher drop rate for hearts than other enemies do. So I kind of like to go after them if I need uh, health. And now that we have the water up to the ladder, we can actually go into this dungeon and get hit by everything. I found a key. And we used a key right away. And this dungeon, despite me liking it, I still occasionally end up getting lost in this dungeon. That's okay, because I still enjoy it. And I enjoy the item that we get uh, from this dungeon. It, in fact, it might be my favorite item in the game. And notice those water bouncy things. They can't bounce on the... Ow, they can bounce on me. Uh, but they can't bounce on the dry land. And this is a dangerous looking room. Filled with lots of danger. Ooh. And anytime you uh, swing your sword, that little turret thing is going to launch in uh, our direction. I think if we go up, there should be a key under here. Yes. As of right now, my memory of this dungeon is working. I can't push that. Okay, maybe it's not. And we need the hammer to do this. Oh, they jump with the hammer. But if you keep them jumping, they won't uh, throw their bone at you. So sometimes, you know, just keep swinging your sword near them and you can still avoid the bone. And we'll bomb here. I think we'll go this way first. Because this way we get our bomb back. And there's nothing over here. Okay. Now we're in kind of like what I consider the main hub of uh, this dungeon. And you can see we've got the big treasure here. We've got stuff shooting at us all over the place. Enemies spawning indefinitely. A room with a key that we don't have. Uh, do I go left or... Stop that. I think I go down first. I mean, well, that's the way I'm going to go. Whether or not this is actually the correct path, no, well, that remains to be seen. I think it's a path that gets us the compass. Ah, thank you. I swear I'm missing something back to the right. I thought there was more to do before getting to the this little hub area. 
as you can see, uh, oh yeah, I didn't show off the map yet. Uh, this is kind of like the central room that connects most of the, uh, well, at least this floor together. Ah, this is the area I'm thinking of. Ow, I was trying to throw the pot at the skeleton. Hey, watch where you're firing those fireballs. You almost hit me. That would be rude. I don't believe these blocks can be pushed. No, the uh, next set that we run into can probably be pushed, but there's a key there. And, uh... It, it faced the right way. There you go. Okay, that was getting annoying with that uh, spike sound. But uh, we can block him off there, too. Not that that helps us, because we need to have that switch flipped. But there's the water. We'll flip the blue down. And we can just avoid going through that whole spiky area entirely. Now, as I recall... Wasn't there an area back to the right that I needed to go with the... With that switch flipped? I want to say there is. I good, I could just be wasting all of our times. Yeah, there's nothing back here. Or was it up in the up above? No, because that was just a key. Get out of my way. Ooh. Surprised I didn't get shot there. We know for a dungeon that uh, involves, well, raising, and I think we, th there is lowering uh, level of water a bit later. It's actually not that unpleasant as far as, you know, the water is concerned. At least I don't think so. And now with this place flooded, we can swim across there. And that's not a key, but that is useful to us. And this is where we can push those, but I'm going to go up here first, and... Yeah, i got to figure out how to get up there at some point. I think that's the part that always uh, makes this dungeon a bit longer for me than what it probably could be. I believe there's a key back here. Or there's hearts we need. That works too. This room has a lot going on <laughs> in it, and I'm just going to get hit by everything. But if we fall down this side, we get money. And there's no... There's no thing there. Okay, so we need to fall down the other side. And there's that little pattern of the blocks again. I told you that pattern would be returning. Oh, really? Okay, I kind of ran into that one. Of course. All right, let's go. Uh, <laughs> let's go flip that switch again, and then come back here. Like I said, this is usually the sex section of the dungeon that. Uh, oh, the turret finally got me. That 
ends up taking the longest time for me. I can't go back down, can I? Because I don't have... yeah. We gotta go the long way around. And we also get, you know, the cool little uh, small layer of water that you walk on and make that cool sound. Maybe that's another reason I like this dungeon. Throwing the pots does not activate the turret, so take that turret. Okay, get out of there. And now we go back this way. Ooh, I'm surprised that thing didn't hit us. I don't even know what those things are. They're like evil foam bubbles that come up out of the water and bounce around. Evil foam bubbles, yeah. Once again, I'll get hit by everything. My thoughts too, Link. Alright. And now we're on this side, which this gets us, it should get us the big key. Yes. And now we can go back into that little uh, hub room that I enjoy so much. And we'll get the treasure. These guys keep coming back. Ah, uh, that's not a heart. We come up here and we get the hook shot. And as I mentioned, this is my probably my favorite item in the game. I just gotta figure out where I can go. I think I just have to go... I don't have a key. Why don't I have a key? Where do I get a key? I must get a key over here. Thank you. So yeah, the hookshot... Um, it can stun enemies, it can uh, grapple you to other places like so. Did I go left or right? Uh, or down. And you can see we have water that needs to be drained out of here. But we can't do anything here yet, so let's head back up here. Another cool thing that I've always liked about the hookshot is that as you're using it, as it's going out, you are invincible. You, you don't take damage, which has its uses. I'm sure I'll demonstrate that at some point. Which side do I want to go to first? I don't even know. So I guess we'll go left side first. I'll see what this does. Besides, get me shot at. Yeah, that didn't do anything. I don't think you pull that. No, that's just a uh, just a room. And we have two paths going downstairs, and of course I can't walk through this one because of the weird physics. Which means we went the wrong way. That's okay, we enjoy this dungeon, so we don't mind being here a bit longer. Well, I enjoy this dungeon. I just wanted to hear that sound some more. <laughs> Oh, and the hookshot can also destroy those guys. It can destroy the small ones. Kinda hard to line it up sometimes. The hit detection on the small ones is sometimes yeah, kind of awkward. And in this area of the dungeon, we drain the water.
And how do I get back to the... Ah, it's down. And that brings us to here, where we get more money that we can't actually carry. How wonderful.